the legend of Lawrence of Arabia dies tonight. Vehicles in Battlefield has always played a big part. It's part of the all-out warfare and pushing the sandbox experience to the limit. We're extremely proud of them and, and pushing forward now with the variety, the brutality, the physical vehicles, the presence on the battlefield. Many of the combat vehicles we see in military today got their start during World War I, including fighter aircraft, bombers, armored cars. But arguably, the largest innovation in armored warfare was the tank. <laughs> They were invented in this time, this place, to serve a special purpose. We wanted to be big, physical, brutal beasts that, that essentially dominates the battlefield and you should be scared of it. In the epicness of, of these battles, there's a new time that happened with this era. It was the fact that the sky was filled with planes. Everything from fighter planes to twin-seaters to heavy bombers roaming the skies, which was unseen up to that point. Maneuvering these planes was different than modern aircraft. They were quite light but had really powerful engines. So you can feel gravity's pull when you climb and dive. It allows us to really give the players the feeling of being up in the sky and circling around the clouds. And I think it really offers something truly unique. One thing that we're really excited about with Battlefield 1 is the introduction of the tanker and the pilot class. Those classes are unique for when you spawn into a tank or a plane, respectively. And the idea here is that if you're in a tank, you should be playing a character that is specialized to taking care of his tank, to run his tank, to be as efficient as possible with the vehicle you choose. The vehicle experience in Battlefield 1 offers great variety, big improvements in physics, part destruction that offers tactical improvements for the players and it all combines into the sandbox experience that you can only get in Battlefield 1. The arsenal of Battlefield 1's weaponry is super exciting to me. We have been allowed to open up a totally new world. It's not another M16 that we're about to build. Just a huge variety of weapons in this war. I mean, uh, everything from clubs and very medieval, brutal, close quarter weapons to fast firing machine guns and submachine guns. These weapons for the time were the, the, like the peak of engineering. We've done extensive research in order to recreate these weapons, both in how they sound, what they feel like, how you handle them, in order to recreate them to perfection. There's several of us here at DICE that have been dreaming about making these games in this setting for over a decade. So in the background, there's been research going on for a long time, I would say. World War I was the birth of a lot of the things that we take for granted in, in modern warfare. All of these tools were created for a special purpose. Right there, right now, they needed to solve a problem and they came up with this variety of tools. We're not recreating the old, the past. We're taking that as an inspiration and then we're trying to take this into a, a modern perspective. It is a different experience. It's much more up close and personal. Every weapon has its unique character and personality and it really brings it to the battlefield. It's more amazing than I ever thought it would be. It's really a battlefield game that I look forward very much myself to, to play.